Hi, I'm Natasha Denman. I'm the ultimate forty eight hour author. I am going to be on the online prosperity show talking about exactly how you can write your book in just forty eight hours and take your business to the next level by leveraging the content from your book. So join us then. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we've got the ultimate 48-hour author, Natasha Denman herself. Natasha, how are you doing today? I'm excellent. It's weather's beautiful, it's nice and warm, and I've been chilling out by the pool most of the day. <laughs> Understandable. Well, we're going to be hearing a lot more about your lifestyle because if you're watching this show for the first time, um, you would understand that we bring in experts in their fields. And today, Natasha, being the 48 hour author, is a highly sought after professional speaker. She's actually CSP accredited. Now, she's a coach and she's a mentor. And then Natasha has been published eight times. All right. And she's the creator of the game changing business model, the ultimate 48 hour author, which we're going to be talking about mainly on this show today. So in this program, she has helped over 200 solopreneurs um, to become first time published authors in just three and a half years in Australia and in the US. We are also going to be delving on this topic, um, you know, in the show. So you need to stay tuned for that now in seven short years natasha uh, you know has been nominated for the telstra businesswoman award of the year twice congratulations natasha thank you <laughs> and she's been the finalist in oz mompreneur of the year in product innovation now she's also appeared in major uh, media outlets ac across australia uh, including the online prosperity show the sydney morning herald the Financial Review and The Edge. Now, obviously, you can see that Natasha is changing the way people are actually doing business in Australia and the rest of the world. And to top it off, she's running a seven-figure business with her husband and three children, and she's traveling the world, spreading her message and helping small businesses thrive. Now, Natasha, welcome to the program, and tell us a little bit about your story and how it all began. Okay, well, it did begin about seven and a half years ago when my husband uh, lost a business that we were a part of. We were in the optical industry for most of our um, companies and uh, we decided to open a franchise when one company came into the scene of Australia. Um, they approached him and said, would you like you know, to, to have your own business? And so we opened up that franchise and about months after that which was May well March 2010 my husband called me out of my work to tell me that I needed to come home and that he had to tell me something and I knew it's completely wrong so when I arrived home he of course told me that he had made a poor decision and lost that particular business very overnight and it's one of those times that when she hits the fan usually it is the time usually you'll make a big decision to change the trajectory of your life um, and I decided at that, that time that my back was up against the wall and that I had to go and figure out how life was going to continue because um, we were left with um, no business, uh, no regular salary from his end and I was only working part-time with my 18-month-old son at the time. So I decided to enroll into a coaching course, a uh, two-year diploma, which was um, uh, something that I thought, oh, wow, you know, you kind of go and do some training and all of a sudden you're a coach. Um, which was going to happen in May of 2010, so only two months after the incident. And uh, very quickly I realised that coaching is not the business, that coaching is a tool you use to solve a problem. And I actually um, also realised that you need to become an expert in marketing and sales in successful coach. So you don't just need the coaching skills. And so I went on learning and reading and uh, networking and did all of that sort of stuff. Um, but the defining moment really that changed um, my business from only $7,000 in the first 12 months to a fully booked coaching practice was the writing of my very first book, which was The Seven Ultimate Secrets to Weight Loss. And 
that book and the rebranding of the business at the time to be more relevant around weight loss coaching was the thing that got my practice fully booked. And I, I went on for another couple of years to work with clients one-on-one quite successfully and the business was at six figures at the time. Um, and as time went on, um, you know, we licensed the weight loss um, niche and that's the thing that got my husband to quit his day job um, coming up to five years now. Ago, so he ended up getting another job uh, fairly quickly after the business loss, but um, remained in day jobs for another two years. And uh, one day, about three and a half years ago, I figured out that um, because I wrote a book in a weekend myself, that I could reverse engineer this and help other people do the same thing, but uh, in a different way whereby I would uh, have everything included under one umbrella so that no uh, no one needed to go and look any further than our program, like in terms of editors and layout people and designers and transcribers and all of the people that are involved in bringing a book project together to completion. And so thus came about the Ultimate 48 Author Retreat Program, uh, which has now, this weekend we're running our 18th retreat. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, we launched in the US. You mentioned that um, earlier, and actually, we launched in Dubai a month ago. So um, it's really, really exciting. And um, and now, yes, there's over 200 people that have fully completed their books, um, and we're booked out kind of um, months in advance. Like the next two retreats are really well booked out, probably 80% full. Um, and things are just um, amazing. And the business has been at seven figures the last three years. And we finally got to that work hard, play hard kind of life um, where you enjoy an amazing lifestyle, but when it's on and we're working, like it's pretty full on. <laughs> Understandable. Well, thank you so much for that profound, you know, uh, insight to your background and how you got to turn around your life. So obviously the thing that then crafted your business was, first of all, the misfortune of your husband losing the business. And then second of all, you going out there and realizing that coaching is just a tool and then you wrote a book. Now, how does one complete a book in 48 hours? I mean, sometimes you probably mm-hmm. haven't even put pen and paper together and, um, you know, the, the, the old thinking of writing a book is, you know, putting it all in a journal up until you've got enough chapters, up until you've got everything else going there. For somebody who hasn't been exposed to your expertise, how does one actually put a book together in 48 hours? Okay, so um, not every single book can be done in 48 hours, but the ones we specialize in is either the autobiographical style book, which is a less of the big books that we do, but I would say it's 80-20 where 20% of the books we do could be autobiographical and 80% of the books that we do are how-to expert positioning books which means that really experts and thought leaders know their stuff. They know how they help people. Same as, you know, your life story kind of, you don't need to invent it or be too creative about it. It is what it is. And also so is your expertise. So when you know all that stuff, basically all you need to get taught is how to unpack and structure the flow of what you share with people and then further unpack and structure the chapters. So first you do the book structure, then you do the chapters. And how we do it in 48 hours is we don't actually slave away at the computer. We actually get people to uh, speak out their content uh, with their, what I call the cheat notes, because they have uh, come away with templates of what they're gonna say, what their stories are, what the flow is. Uh, so they spend about 10 hours before they retreat um, unpacking the content. And then there's about five, hours speaking at the retreat those 12 chapters introduction afterward which equates to about 40,000 words so they end up with your average size 160 page book um, and um, and then someone types it up so once the person who types it up finishes um, they send it back to the author the author does one run, runs over it one more time adds or removes anything that I don't want or they forgot to say and then it's sent over to editing. So really the content of 40,000 words is only five hours of speaking, um, and then it gets sent across to um, the editors who will do the, the obviously the further uh, punctuation, grammar, structure, all that kind of stuff before, yeah, and you know, obviously talk to the author, just make sure they get everything approved before it goes to layout. 
And so unless you're in layout, you're pretty much very close to the finish line and you go into print. Understandable. Wow. Okay. So as long as you can talk for five hours, you can put together yeah. um, a book and it's all yeah. about your story and how to uh, information that would leave you, you know, in an expert sort of position, which is what you did. And um, eventually that turned around your business because you rapidly raised your profile after writing your first book and you became a person of yeah. influence without you needing to spend, um, you know, years and years working on your credibility. Walk us through how a book actually does that for a person. Well, it's the perception that people out there have about books. Is the perception is that automatically people think you are the expert, even if, I mean, when I wrote my first book, I think I only had two clients as I was writing that very first book. And so I, you the one that says I'm the expert, number one, before other people buying to, um, buy into that plus a lot of us have had a lot of life experience and things that we have overcome that counts for something so just because I had two paying clients that does, didn't mean I had no experience I had um, worked or studied and uh, educated myself around the things I was uh, about for the previous 10 years right so um, people perceive you to be more disciplined because if you've gone as far as writing a book you must be disciplined, you must be organized, you must know your stuff because if you're brave enough to put out your message out there, um, then people are more willing to listen. And I see so many of my clients who don't believe in themselves before the writing process um, uh, and then once they receive their books, they're, they're just standing about the, you know three feet tall, tall are more proud of themselves so there's this personal transformation that occurs when you write your first book um, it's like you start to believe in yourself a lot more you become more confident and it, I don't know it just uh, it, it, you just think differently of yourself and that also counts for how you attract clients in because before I had the book, I was shy, reserved, not sure of myself. Then I have the book, all of a sudden it was like my license for confidence. It was my license to put my prices up and, um, and I walked around that much taller and more self. And then as we know, certainty and confidence uh, well, any time of the day over, you know, this is what I know. Understandable, because people do business with those that they know, like and trust. And I'm pretty much supposing as soon as you put the book out there, um, that's the reason why um, things started working better for you. Now, how also does, um, you know, putting a book out there increase visibility or your chances of uh, publicity with, you know, like you've been featured on many a uh, show that, um, you know, some people are dying to get on, but as soon as you get a book, it becomes sort of easier. Can you just walk us through that um, process? Yeah, sure. So people who consider others uh, or even speaking opportunities, they'll always pick the person who's got the book that says they're an expert on a topic over the person who just says I'm the expert. You know, no matter how many testimonials you have and whatever, if you've got the book, it's just instantly, I call it business card on steroids. So just by putting that out there, they get to choose, they choose you um, over someone else because they go, they've done the hard work. And again, the perception, you're more disciplined, you can be trusted, uh, generally means you're going to be on time and you're going to, you know, satisfy deadlines and all that kind of stuff. I appreciate all that. And because also media is in the authoring space, whether it's video authoring or, or journalism and all that, they're always going to choose you over others. Uh, speaking wise, um, I've always found having a speaker bio uh, alongside with all my books on it. And if anyone has a speaker call out, I always apply or put my hand up and, um, and I will start to get to know you and your visibility increases with your book. Of course, you've got to get out there. I always say, you gotta, it's not just magically going to change your life. You've got to get out there and be there with your book. So have your book alongside you, not just, you know, here it is, you know, and put it on social media and you think you're going to get all these opportunities. It doesn't quite look work that way. You have to actually get out there and, as I say, put a pound, of especially in the early days, 
Um, you know, go and meet people, go give away your book as door prizes, you know, um, introduce yourself with your book in front of groups and all that sort of stuff. So they start late this product with you and start seeing you everywhere and you popping up and then once you establish that visibility and become that person of influence, then other people will recommend you. Other people will, will reach out to you just like you have. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, you know, hadn't heard you or whatever and then all of a sudden you look at the other end and it's like, you know, that's, they're the kind of things, but you've got to be consistent in building your visibility. A lot more hands in the beginning and then organically it'll had to flow even more towards you. Understandable. Well, obviously you help people do this, um, you know, through workshops and you've got one that you said is going to be running sometime soon. Just walk us through what happens at these workshops and, you know, how you actually help people to sort of unpack themselves. And um, after that, maybe you would let us know how people can be in touch with you so they can, um, you know, join one of these workshops when they're ready. Yes, yeah, so they're actually retreats. So we call them retreats because people do come and sleep uh, and eat and do everything in 48 hours. So the way the process runs is really when a person commits to the retreat, they have a two-hour one-on-one session. And just like we are on Zoom now, uh, we do it over Zoom so they can record the call and they can have have it to re listen if they need to, you know, um, hear the information, the instructions again. But basically, in that two hour session, we unpack the book. I say we make it sexy so it's more marketable, uh, so it's more attractive, and, you know, it's using language that it's going to speak to the target market. Uh, we then unpack one chapter out of the 12. So we generally advise that you write a 12 chapter because then it's leverageable to uh, further um, uh, workshops, a 12-week program, a 12-month program, a 12-step online course. So we're thinking about the future leverage of the content material. So I show them how to unpack one chapter. I demonstrate and coach them on how to speak out the content of that chapter. And then I give them a pre-weekend mini manual. It's a 19-page manual that they go through, which takes about 10 to 12 hours to complete. As I said, there is 10 to 12 hours of work you need to do before you come away at the retreat. And as yeah, this weekend is our 18th, so they come away at about midday, uh, midday on the Friday. Retreats always run over a weekend. So they come away uh, midday on Friday um, and we start the retreat whereby in the retreat there's seven speaking hours and there is seven educational segments. So over those seven educational segments, we're teaching them how to market and leverage their book. The other seven speaking hours is when they're locked up in their own rooms and gets a room to themselves because they can't, can't share because they can't speak to the top of each other. And in those seven hours, they will generally speak out two chapters per hour. And then in the seventh hour, do their introduction and afterwards. So they'll do 12 chapters over six hours and then do the introduction and afterwards. After the retreat, the transcriptionist will receive the audio um, version of those files. He'll type up everything, send it back to the author, and the author will do the cleanup process before he, he, send, he or she sends it into editing. And from there on in, there is an eight to ten process where it's with the experts who are cleaning it up, who are making it look... Um, professional and as if it belongs in a bookstore. So, um, so yeah, really the work of the author is about 10 hours before retreat, obviously the 48 hour author retreat, and then about 15 hours after retreat on the cleanup process to make sure it's ready to go into editing. Understandable. And just thinking that it takes that little amount of time to create an asset that will continuously keep giving for the rest of your life. So it is one thing. So how do, how can people get hold of you there, uh, Natasha? Um, yeah, well, we've got our normal website, ultimate48hourauthor.com. Um, that's the big place. That's where we advertise the upcoming retreats and events. Ideally, I don't, I don't let anyone attend my retreat unless they have attended my half-day workshop. So there is a workshop prior to the retreat that I run nationwide and I've run them in the US and Dubai. And actually next Tuesday, we're running an online version of it. Uh, because of people who missed out of uh, being live in the room with me. But it's a four-hour workshop which unpacks a lot of things to understand the full process and the value behind the process because it's really, really hard for me to explain it over a short interview such as this or a short phone call on a one. 
it's really like a prerequisite that people need to come along to that first and then actually have a qualifying conversation with us because we don't let every single person come to our program. Uh, we select the ones that we believe have the ability and the skills to follow through uh, on this, but also are suitable to the program because, not as I said, not every book, like no fiction books and no children's books ever get accepted through us. Um, and we have to make sure, obviously, the personality of the person is a match for what we do as well. Understandable. So there's a lot of discipline and there's a lot of, um, you know, recipro reciprocity that really works in, in writing those books with you uh, and team at the Ultimate Book Writing Success Workshop. Well, Natasha, I can't thank you enough for your time, your dedication and your expertise um, that you've shown us on this show today. Is there any last words that you can part with just in case somebody's just sitting and they're just shaking in their socks and thinking, oh my God, 48 hours, I can have a book, <laughs> you know, and then just strengthen yeah. them to so that they too can be, do and have either a business that's profitable and enjoyable or just a book that will uh, enhance their profile. I guess I'll share with you my famous quote that I always finish uh, that half day workshop on always um, that I came up with myself, which is so relevant. And I say in that is that writing your first book is actually not about writing the book. It's about the person you become at the other end of it. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to leave people. So, you know, just know that you transform and, um, and just say yes to yourself. It is scary. And you're going to have lots of mindset things that are going to come up to prevent you from following through. A lot of stuff, uh, shit hits the fan in people's lives as they are near this process. I know because I'm right now three days before our next retreat and there's so much resistance happening around for these guys' lives because they're about to go on this life-changing experience. But once they do it, they all say, I'm so glad you made me do this, which I don't. They have to back themselves and follow through. But it's, um, no one ever said, I wish I never did this or I, I hate this and you know, you know, it's, it was a waste of time or money. So just do it. it, it it'll be totally worth it, especially if you want to build your credibility in your business. Understandable. I'm also thinking you've just transformed a few people right now that have watched this video today because they wouldn't have known that you can actually write a book in 48 hours and you can actually transform your business life or just your life in general. Natasha, thank you so much for this uh, show today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Great.